Hello guys. I'm Wisdom, a back-end developer. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to work with Laravel API with Sanctum. We're going to build a simple forum system, so I will be dropping a series of videos, and this is the first part. On this series, I have a lot of knowledge packed in one place for you. You will be learning Laravel API authentication using Sanctum, multi-authentication which involves the admin and the user, access restriction, CRUD, which involves soft delete, advanced Laravel eloquent queries, all these and many more you will learn on this series. So, stay tuned, like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get notification when a new video is dropped. Let's create something. Let's start by creating a fresh Laravel project. Next I'm going to install Laravel UI for the authentication scaffolding. I will then run the scaffolding after installing the package. Next I'm going to create the admin model with its migration file. Let's open the project in the code editor. For this project I will be using Sublime Text. After opening the project, I will put my database credentials in my environment file. Next I'm going to create the database on PHP my admin. After creating the database, I'm going to set the migration file for both admin and user. For this project, I'm going to copy the columns in the user migration file to the admin migration file, as the two are likely to use the same columns. Then add the soft deletes column. Let me go back to the user migration file and add the profile image column. Next, I will add the soft deletes trait to the models. After adding the traits, don't forget to import it. Sorry, I have to also add the soft deletes column on the user migration file. After setting up the migration files, I will now install Laravel Sanctum for the authentication, which also came with its migration files. So I'm going to publish the migration file it was shipped with. Next, I will now migrate the files. Next, I'm going to add a simple endpoint in the API route. I'm going to be using Postman to test the API endpoints I will be creating on this tutorial. I created a collection, I will create a folder inside it, then create a login request for admin. I'm going to add the API URL. Before sending the request, 
I have to start the server first. Sorry, I have to set the headers to accept JSON. And set the method I'm going to use for the endpoint, which will be a post request. Let me create the controller I'm going to use for the admin login authentication. Let me open the controller and create the login method. Inside the method, first, I'm going to validate the admin input, email, password, using Laravel validator facade. Next, I'm going to check if there is an error, if there is, I will return the error messages to the admin in JSON format. Let's go back to the route and add the controller to the login route. Let's head back to Postman and test the endpoint. There seems to be an error, I forgot to import the validator facade. Let's go back to the controller and import it. Next, I'm going to authenticate the admin to see if the credentials are correct. If it is incorrect, return an error message. An error again, the auth facade wasn't imported, let's quickly import it. Another error occurred, seems like the soft deletes trait was not imported correctly. Let's fix that. As you can see, the auth facade was trying to authenticate the admin using the user model, which is wrong. For authenticating the admin, the auth is meant to use the admin model, and this is where Laravel auth guard comes in play. So, let's quickly set up the auth guard. As you can see, the auth guard is making use of the web guard which make use of the user provider, that make use of the user model for authenticating users. Let's make a copy of it and create the admin guard. Next, is to set the provider it's going to use. The provider driver will be eloquent, and it's going to use the admin model. Let's set the password reset table for the admin guard provider, which is going to use the same table with the user.
Let's quickly now add the guard to the authentication, now telling the auth to use the admin model for authentication. Oops, we still have the same soft deletes trait error, let's quickly fix that. Next, is to get the admin that was authenticated and create a token for the admin, which the front-end developer will use to log in the admin. Let's open the terminal and create an admin using Tinker. An error occurred, let's add the fields to fillable. Seems like the error persist, let's exit the tinker and start it again. Oops. I forgot to add name of the admin. Now, admin has been created. Let's head back to Postman to test the endpoint. Another error, we didn't implement the authenticatable class to the admin model. Let's quickly add that to the admin model. Another error, we didn't import the admin model in the controller. Let's fix that. There seems to be another error, to avoid subsequent errors, let's copy what we have in the user model to the admin model, and change the model name back to admin. Everything now works fine, this is where I'm going to end this part. Next time we are going to handle access restriction, Stay tuned. If you have any question or anything you didn't understand, you can drop a comment. If you find this tutorial to be educative and informative, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get notification when I drop the next part of this series. Thanks for watching, see you next time.